Right then, I crossed over from over right over there where the llamas were, over that side of the hill, crossed over and uh, back on this part of the track there must be some sort of pothole down there. This is usually covered in cows. This place is very, very huge herd. Comes here, very big herd indeed. And uh, yeah, you couldn't be out here with that lot. It would not be good. So you got Cheddar Caves not far away, and riddled in these hills are all sorts of caverns. I haven't decided whether to go down the gorge. I might do actually. I might go down the gorge for a change. I normally come up it. But uh, if not, I can cut across one of these fields, go down and um, go down and go around the back, down the back lane into town. But uh, I've had to put the uh, charger on. I did see a cut, two people walking. There was a bloke with a dog who had a bright orange jacket on, some sort of workman. Um, he stopped and got out. And then there, before that, there was two, it looked like two women walking, but they'd parked back down there. So they'd obviously done a bit of a walk and they found this route as well. So, but like I said, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do any of these fields with the cows in. No way would I. I think I see something. I saw what looked like cow pack earlier. And what's that? Oh, it's the goats again. They get everywhere, those goats. Well, I saw it was cow pack. I saw fresh cow pack. since I was out last, I mean. Not a lot of it, but... <sighs> yeah, I don't expect I'll be coming out here again now this year, on this. Um, I probably might do another route that I do sometimes down there, but um, the West Mendip Way has often got these cows in there. I'm not saying that these cows are dodgy, but... They look a bit frisky and they have a bull in the field, so I've sort of avoided that since I had a narrow escape. Um, I had a narrow escape. <sighs> I'm not saying I was being chased, but they were running, these cows. Whether it was milking time, and I'd only just crossed, and they did run from quite a long way. Oh, I do love this, because it's so quiet. These are the sort of walks in the winter I'll be able to do when I haven't got a vehicle. Um, I'm already really worried about not having a vehicle, because it really does hurt. When you've got your van, you can stop. You've got, I've got my toilet facilities. I've got, I can just stop, a, you know, and have a cup of tea, a rest, go where I want in it. Don't have to worry about the time exactly. But once I've got to start relying on public transport, you know, it really, really does affect you, you know. And you've got to walk everywhere for, to get the transport. It takes away that freedom, the freedom of your vehicle. And I've had her, this is going into the seventh year. 
We've been all over the country. I've really enjoyed my walk, my time with Alberta. I mean, she's an old vehicle, so things do sometimes fall off or go wrong. But at the end of the day, she's not really let me down big time. I mean, I've had a clutch cable go. I had the exhaust partially fall off, dragging on the floor the other last week. Um, I've had little tiny leaks of petrol that had to be fixed, with, which cost me about a tenner. Um, and a little rubber ring thing broke. There's um, black rock wood over there. I walked right through that earlier. Weaved in and out part of it. Hobbit land. Just met two more people walking by this way. I'm just having a little wander about because like I said you can't do it. You can. You can risk it with a, a herd of a 200. You can see that they all go this way. I wouldn't. Not anymore. I'm just going over. Something just tells me to come and have a look over here. Yeah, so I was all over there a minute, go where the alapacas are, right over there. Seen some goats wandering about a minute ago. And there's all this to explore. By the side of the Cheddar Gorge Road, a lot of these trees sit. I'm just going to walk up to the fence there and then just have a little wander off the main track, really, while I can. A little wander. I mean, you see lots of weird features and you think, well, what? Like two hump, a couple of humps there. I mean, what are those humps, you know? Is it just rock and the grass and moss has grown over it? Was it somebody's grave? You know, you just sort of think, oh, I wonder what that is, you know. Yeah. Of course, there's a quite a cliff edge there, but the goats love that bit. You know, so you'd have to be careful not to go running off the edge, wouldn't you? <sighs> Some more dirt that's been turfed over by the look of it. Now, what would have done that? Done it, and another stone thing. There's similar coloured dirt to what I've seen over there on the path. Brown, very rich colour like this. I'm not quite sure. This is a part of a farm all this year. I'm not really quite sure um, what it's called exactly. But, uh, and of course it's alright wandering around here in the winter. Although it's, but you could still get ticks, I've got no idea. But it's less risk to go wandering about now than in the summer, see? Little ridge of stones here. There were some big brown cows out in the field over there. So like I said, they do come out. And it makes you wonder, why don't they have them out in here then? You know, why don't we have them out here? I'm just going up to this fence to have a look over. It's almost as if somebody's dug into this dirt, isn't it? Come got a bag full or something. Somebody curious, maybe a deer. It's interesting, isn't it? Things around in the countryside. So I say, I'm just going off the main track a minute while I can to look and see. You never know what you're going to find. Of course, the next time I probably come over to Cheddar, well, I come over to Cheddar a lot. It's a gateway to a lot of my walks. See, there's a walk down there, look. There's a walk down there, if you know where you're going. That'd take you down onto the road, probably. 
Yeah, but if you go down, you've got to come up. That's what I always think. If you go down, you've got to come up. This is another big, weird, humpy, bumpy area here. I mean, it could have been a settlement once, you see. And they pull the building down, the grass grows over the hump. See, like this bit here. It's watching too much time team makes you question everything. <laughs> see, there's a hump here, see? I'm not going to climb on it, can't be bothered. Cows do though, very cowified. They've been up here munching away at the grass. Yeah, see, so just wonder, you know, why, why is there a hump there? Things like that. This is where you've got to keep the history of the locals. Um, they've got the history, you see. on the gate now. Yeah, like I said, the last time I was over, I did it that way round. And right, right round. That was, you know, that was a good four or five hour walk. As this will be. As this will be. And those people I met there probably way back in Cheddar now, thinking how brave they were and how well they'd done. Let me just put my camera there while I get over here. Let's leave it there a minute. Have people to keep immaculately clean, some people. I mean, they haven't done the walk I've done. Everyone who's done my walk is covered in mud. But if they've got wellies on, that covers right up to your knee, doesn't it? See? But wellies are not good to walk in long distance. They aren't good for your feet. I think you can get wellies that can be taken everywhere as well. Right, this is Sheila. This is Sheila, over at Cheddar, in the beautiful sunshine, beautiful. Someone said, do you want to go walk back and then go up the other? No way. Now they've got a choice here, you can either go down there or a bit further is another style or you can go down the gorge well I think I've already decided I'm going to go down the gorge in a minute well, here's a path some people take they go down to cross over and do things down there Piney Slates Farms right over there I'll just zoom in I've probably never got a shot of it from here. Piney Slates Farm right over there, look. Which I pass through a lot on my walks over here. Yep. I pass through there a lot. It's up past two. Now this is one of the dilemmas you have. I think I'll be getting the four o'clock. I'll risk the four o'clock with all the kids, I think. Yeah, we should get back for that. We've got, it gives me an hour and a half to get back. 
now you're not going to make the three o'clock not unless you run no way but I can make the four o'clock these off though until I get down the gorge. I might take them off when I get to the tower because they'll be slippy and slidey all the way down. They do keep me warm as well. They do keep me warm. I feel that cold wind. Yeah, so we've had a lovely walk. I love doing this walk. I only do it twice a year. And both times it's very close. You know, it's only like a couple of months apart when they do the two walks. One one way, one the other. There are parts of the walk I do over that way. But I keep out of all of this. It's cows. And they might be having a break at the moment, but they will be out again. There are cows, and then I say about going for a walk down there, but there are these long horned hairy cows that don't seem to be violent for some reason. <sighs> Looks like we're coming up to Jurassic Park, I always think, when I see this fencing. That a Tyrosaurus Rex is going to be greeting me. It always gives you that feeling that you've been out in the wild and you've got to get back to the fence in time. It's going to be time to put the jumper on, go. I might do that in a minute. So if you're not climbing, you're going downhill, you'll get a cold cracker. I need some more nutriment as well. I haven't got a lot to eat, actually. I've got some Kit, a Kit Kat. I've got a bit more cheese to eat. We just go over towards there first. Yeah, those people would have, yeah, they would have done it, I think. They would have done it. It's hard to tell how old they were, really. Because some people in their, in their 50s say that they look like they're in their 60s, or people in their 60s look like they're in their 50s. Yeah, ice on top of that. I'm not going to put my finger in there. Apparently, some farmer told me, if you can, get your... that to work, you can drink out of it. Not out of that bit. Apparently, that water is drinkable. That's what he said to me. I wouldn't risk it now. Right, so if you go... There's often cows in this field, not the big brown ones, but the big long horned variety. They're probably further down, but you can get down here and get back into um, Cheddar, the back route. But I'll go down the gorge today, I think. A bit risky, but I'm going to do it. So I said I do. For the rest of the year now, I won't really be out as such, although I'm always passing the gorge, so I do take photos, but I don't come up this side very often. Usually it's the other side when I'm on a mission, going over that way. I do a lot of walking over there in the summer. They have herds out there, but um, we always seem to be able to avoid them because it's, there's a lot of room out there. Whereas if you're in a confined space like this, and you've got two or three hundred cows coming up to see you. It's a bit risky. Anyway. Right over there, there's an aerial on a hill, and it's called Shoot Shelf Hill. I haven't done that walk up there for a while. Not for a while. 
I haven't done it that many times anyway. Um, that, that route. <sighs> Alright, we'll be taking some images of the gorge going back down now. And I'd be very, very shocked if I only just seen those people I met this morning now. Because, I mean, I've been up and right round there. And they should have been way back. <sighs> this is a lovely scene as I come round the corner. As we come round the corner now. Spot the sun out for a minute and look over there. You've got Brent Knoll right in the distance, look. Some sort of fire been going on all day there. You've got Cheddar and Axbridge Reservoir there. Right up there by the tree on the top there, you've got Crook's Peak. And somewhere over there will be Glastonbury. But it depends where that sun is. Right, over and out. I'll take some... I might do another video in a minute. I'm going to put my jumper on when I get to the next stile and have a piece of cheese.